Tennessee's oldest town is getting ready to help spread the luck of the Irish. Melinda Kopp is here to tell us all about Jonesboro's St. Patrick's Day events. Melinda, as always, so good to see you. Thanks for having me. Yes, again. so this is a really fun weekend for you all in Jonesboro. It and is. all the events kind of kick off on Friday, right? They do, they do. The, last year was our first year we did jo Jonesboro St. Patty's weekend, so we're excited to bring it back and have some new additions this year. Um, on Friday night, we'll be kicking things off with uh, St. Patty's Dash Brew Fun Run. So it'll be uh, just, just community fun run, so uh -huh. walk, jog, right. whatever pace you want to do. It's about two miles. It'll start at the Storytelling Center and end at the Storytelling Center. And it's going to loop through town, go by Depot Street Brewery, Jonesboro's own brewery, and you can get a free five ounce pour there and then come back downtown and we'll have a beer garden set up. And we're actually going to light the courthouse clock tower green that night for oh, the weekend. Oh, how fun. <clears throat> that sounds like a lot of fun. And like yeah. you said, this is a family fun run. So Absolutely. kids can come, the dogs can come. It's a fun time. Absolutely, it's going to be a lot of fun. And then um, on all weekend, on Friday and Saturday, we're going to have some fun activities that you can come down and partake anytime. Mm -hmm. We're going to kick off our scavenger hunt again. This is something that we started last year. So we're going to add some new clues and some new locations. It's, going to, it's all throughout town. There's around 20 locations. It's a QR code scavenger hunt. So all you need is a QR code reader on your phone and you can come that down. Perfect. Yeah, the whole thing takes about an hour and a half, two hours. It's a lot of fun for mm -hmm. the whole family to come down and learn about some of the history and little hidden treasures throughout town. Right, and just a fun way to get people downtown, yeah. down to Main Street, and to, of course, going in all the shops and everything Absolutely. like that. And you have kind of a special prize, too. This yes. is Patty. Yes. Uh, and so kind of the goal of the scavenger hunt, too, is to try and find Patty, right? Yes. So ha so find Patty is another uh, little scavenger hunt that we're going to do, <laughs> and that's on Friday and Saturday. So Patty is going to be at different locations throughout town, um, and there'll be photos that uh -huh. will be on our Instagram and Facebook story. So you can look for him and see where he's going to be and see if you can find out what the clue leads you to. And if you're the first few there, then you're going to get a $5 gift certificate to any of the stores. Oh, that is awesome. I love his little leap, too. Yeah. Yeah. His, little, his little heel <laughs> click. He's very spry. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> and so if you're not the first ones, don't worry. You still get a little yes. prize. You get some chocolate coins. Yeah, exactly. Sounds like a lot Something of fun. And so this is the second year doing this, yes. uh, doing the St. Patrick's Day events. What made you decide to even start it in in the first place. We just thought, you know, it's something fun to do. Why not? We celebrate every other event. Let's yeah. do something for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, and so, you guys yeah. are even having a kissing booth. I've heard I've heard yes. some rumors. Is yeah. that true? <laughs> so on Saturday night is kind of the big event. It's called the Shamrockin' on the Plaza, and we'll have a beer garden with Depot Street Beer. It'll be green as well, of course, for the holiday. And we will have a Celtic band playing live, and we will have also um, some foods from Boone Street Market. They're going to do some Irish sliders and some beef stew, soda bread, a oh, few different fun. things. Yeah, and then we also have a kissing booth that we are going to do and we'll be taking donations for the Humane Society and we've got Iris the Boston Terrier okay. and Henry the Irish Wolfhound. So, so cute. come get a slobbery kiss and uh, make a donation yeah, to the Humane Society. Yeah, exactly. And the best part is that you can, if you're looking for something to green to wear, yeah. you guys have shirts that are yes, for yes. sale. Yes, so we've got shirts this year, um, St. Patty's shirts with the, the town logo and they are for sale at the Visitor Center. Really nice uh, tribal and shirt. Perfect, and that's the perfect thing to wear on St. Yeah. Patrick's Day, right? It's Absolutely. bright and green. Absolutely. <laughs> All yeah. right, Melinda, thank you so much. We thank really you. appreciate you coming on. For more information about St. Patty's Day, we can you just head to jonesborotn.org, call the number on your screen, but don't forget it's happening this Friday and Saturday in downtown Jonesboro.